Nvidia has officially revealed the RTX 4060, a product that has sparked controversy due to its mixed bag of upgrades and downgrades compared to the previous generation RTX 3060. I covered this in my previous video, which you can watch later using the link in the description, but today we won't dwell on that. In this video I want to introduce you to AMD's upcoming next-gen alternative to the RTX 4060. I believe this will be the choice to make if you are looking to buy a graphics card for under $300 this summer. But first, a quick word from my sponsor. CDKeyOffer.com is my number one choice for when I need to buy a cheap Microsoft software key. They are a reliable provider of affordable keys to me, my friends and the channel community for over two years now, so highly recommend it. Use my discount code IVADIM to get 30% off an already amazing price and grab yourself a Windows 10 Pro for $16, Windows 11 Pro for $23 or Office 2021 for just $52. You can use PayPal for fast and secure payment and get your key instantly. Links to all these products are in the description below. Now back to our topic. AMD is expected to officially unveil its Radeon RX 7600 graphics card next week. Stores already have these graphics cards stocked in their warehouses, indicating an imminent launch. According to the latest leaks, reviews will be allowed to publish on May 24th, and GPUs will be available to buy from May 25th. That is less than a week from now. Thanks to the leaked packaging photos and the GPU-Z screenshot, we now have a complete picture of the RX 7600 specifications. This upcoming graphics card features the full Navi 33 GPU, manufactured using TSMC's 6nm node. It has 2048 shader cores, 32 ray tracing cores, 8 GB of 18 Gigabit per second GDDR6 memory across a 128 bit bus, and 32 MB of Infinity cache. These specifications are very similar to the RX 6600 XT, so I have a pretty good idea of where the RX 7600 will land performance wise on the FPS charts. It should be about 15% faster than the RX 6600 XT, which would put it on equal footing with the RTX 3060 Ti. And yes, I do expect the RX 7600 to outperform the RTX 4060 on average. Recent rumors suggest that AMD initially intended to price the RX 7600 at $300. However, they appear to be comfortable pricing it as low as $270 while maintaining a decent profit margin. In theory, the price could drop even lower if market conditions demand it. Since Nvidia priced the RTX 4060 at $300, it is safe to assume that AMD will set the RX 7600 MSRP below $300. If you are interested in how the RX 7600 will perform in actual games, then here is a recap from my previous video. Please bear in mind that we initially thought that this graphics card would be named the RX 7600 XT, which is why I refer to it as such in the video. However, I am pleased to see that AMD has chosen to call it the RX 7600, a name that suits it better. But I digress, here's the recap. AMD revealed the gaming benchmarks for RX 7600 MXT laptop, which allowed me to reverse engineer the performance of RX 7600 XT desktop card. Bear in mind that this is a very rough estimation and should be taken with a grain of salt. But I did work hard on bringing you these numbers, so a like would be much appreciated. In Cyberpunk 2077 at 1080p, using the highest quality preset, the laptop RX 7600 MXT should deliver around 73 FPS on average. The desktop version of the GPU should be able to deliver around a 10% better result, so I expect to see close to 80 FPS average for RX 7600 XT. If you are interested in the latest competitive shooters, then Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is a good example to check out. I expect to see around 120 FPS average in this game at 1080p on ultra quality preset. A decent display of performance for a pleasantly smooth gaming experience. And if you want to better utilize your high refresh rate monitor, then there is always room to improve the FPS by lowering the graphics settings. Metro Exodus represents AAA games from 2018 to 2020 period. 
Expect to see close to 120 FPS average on the highest graphics quality preset in this title. Very nice. In The Witcher 3 at 1080p on the highest graphics preset, RX 7600 XT should deliver close to 140 FPS average. This title represents older AAA games that came out around 2015, but still look pretty good by modern standards. FYI, this is not the next-gen version of The Witcher 3. Let me know in the comments what you think about the RX 7600. Tap the like button if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for more if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim, until next time.